Hello and welcome back to this week's edition of 5 Minute Geography with me Stephen Doyle explaining as simply as possible the world around us. This week in 5 Minute Geography we look at different volcanic landforms and we look at Hawaii's moving volcanoes. And don't forget to stick around to the end of the video for another 5 Minute Geography Fact of the Week. When magma reaches the surface of the earth it's known as lava. As it cools, it solidifies and forms different structures. Because these structures are formed on the surface of the earth, we call them extrusive landforms. Intrusive landforms is the opposite. When magma pushes its way into faults and cracks within the crust, and it cools deep underground. Extrusive landforms vary in shape as a result of the different types of lava, basic lava and acidic lava. Acidic lava tends to be very gloopy and doesn't spread very quickly. However, it can be explosive because it traps in the gases. Basic lava is very runny lava and can run for large distances and form very wide shield volcanoes. Volcanic activity also occurs away from plate boundaries. Volcanic activity tends to happen where plates collide or separate. However, hotspot eruptions occur away from plate boundaries. Zones where there is an unusually hot mantle beneath the plate. These areas are known as hotspots. An area of hot molten rock known as a plume rises from deep within the mantle and it acts like a giant blowtorch. The plume eventually breaks through the crust. Lava erupts and builds up into a large volcanic cone directly above the hotspot. Built of runny or basic lava, the cones are wide and have greatly sloping sides. The plumes stay still while the plate above it moves. Like a huge conveyor belt, the plate carries older volcanoes away from the hotspot. These eventually become extinct while the hotspot continues to create new volcanoes. The volcanoes increase in age with their distance from the hotspot. The Hawaiian island chain has formed when the Pacific plate slowly moved over the stationary hotspot. Hawaii itself is less than half a million years old, but Kaui, the oldest island, was formed about 5 million years ago. New underwater volcanoes are already being formed as the Pacific Plate continues to move over the hotspot. Mauna Loa is an active volcano on the island of Hawaii. Its highest point is almost 4,200 meters above sea level but the flanks of Mauna Loa continue for another 5,000 meters to the seabed. Thus, for its base on the seabed to its summit, Mauna Loa is higher than Mount Everest. So, unlike other volcanoes, volcanoes at a hotspot form away from plate boundaries on both continental and oceanic plates. Hotspots occur due to unusually hot plumes of magma rising through the mantle beneath a thin layer of crust. The magma is so hot that it begins to melt through the plate, eventually reaching the surface. The magma does not contain any volatile gases, so eruptions don't tend to be violent. Instead, the lava simply flows from the vent. Lava reaches the surface at a very high temperature usually around 1200 degrees Celsius. This basic lava is very runny and flows quickly away from the vent before cooling on the surface. As a plate moves over the hotspot, a chain of volcanic islands are formed, just like the ones in Hawaii. Volcanoes at hotspots are very gently sloping between 2 degrees and 10 degrees and are often referred to as shield volcanoes. As always, I've been Stephen Doyle with 5 Minute Geography. Please hit the like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content. And if you'd like me to cover a specific topic, please just pop it in the comment section below.